Steve from MarketWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com on the 4th of April 2019, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. Okay, so far we've had a bust of the overnight high. <laughs> we had suggested let's use uh, aggressive support, 72 to 73 and a half technically as support. And we had suggested possibility we could come up and using that idea, come up and test that 82 to 83, our demon. That's been taken out. And again, we suggested we would look at this today. The idea of trying to use the idea of market structure and understanding that, that we add things to the market to help us understand the rotations and the swings and where it's going. So all we know is until broken, these two points are support. And all we know up here is that we've had a fast run down yesterday and we're re-auctioning that territory. So, so now we can safely say, that this is an important measure from here to here, obviously. And now we've got to include this as well in our swing, measuring both from here, the overnight low, and obviously this swing for, for relative position. And this was yesterday's um, I be high. And we said that we think the market needs to stall that area or else still is subject to coming back up and testing that 88 and higher. And from a technical standpoint, just on RTH, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bars above the blue line. Shorts have to get it back under. Have to get under the red line. And this obviously is an area of great uh, support for now until broken. And uh, I'm thinking we could break both sides today of the overnight range. As I said earlier, time will tell. So far, we have gone from low to high in the overnight range. Technically means pullbacks can get bought. I'm still thinking neutral despite that idea. And I think hit and run probably will serve traders the best. going to leave aggressive support right where we had it. And obviously anybody that wants to let all of your profits go, if you have any, to get knocked out back there, that's a silly way to play the game, in my opinion. We're playing risk two, make two. You're trying to get your big. Name of the game is try to get yourself those four or five points every day per contract. Some days you'll do more, some days you'll do less, some days you'll get beat. But on average, that's what we're trying to do. And even if you could only do that two points per contract, you could still be a winner if you have a system that produces uh, high probability. We have suggested today we are going to use from 82 to 85 as aggressive resistance. If it does not work, drop it. So that means this is a payday for anybody long side. And, and I suspect that we're going to have perhaps a little bit of whack-a-mole. 
too, too many too many complacent traders right now thinking bearish 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 so let let's see where the bears capitulate retest is 8475 And we get a tedious overnight range and without a lot of movement on news, you know, that perhaps it's going to be a tough high B. Okay, I've got T1 at 85 and a quarter. We said that this would be a retest. <clears throat> Big 85. And whenever the market takes this kind of a posture, if you're in a trade, you want to go sidelines. If it's some resistance right here, obviously, profit taking. And these days, who knows whether it's going to be a tweet that comes out by the president or whatever. If you were shorting that 84, 85 area, you want to make sure you get paid. Still against the grain. Trader that we used to study with always used to say, <clears throat> get pay your broker first. Meaning you've got, you know, activity costs. And assumption was that you had a couple of contracts at least and, and could afford to do that. T2 today is uh, 87 and a half. As we approach that potential resistance, remember we had set that up as a normal resistance zone back here, aggressive back in the 82s to 85s. If you don't like what's going on, don't trade, move sidelines. It's a squeeze type trade right now. And last night, or late yesterday, someone had challenged me saying that, no, it's time for a correction. And if you saw my post later, I suggested, and respectfully, because I, I don't argue with people, you know that, I don't argue with the market, I don't argue with people. He's entitled to his opinion. But uh, I said, uh, I think that uh, I like to see retest failure first before we can just assume that this new high is abandoned. So today is an important day with that idea, trying to understand, do we have retest failure? And retest failure would be not taking out this high and then coming back down and obviously taking out yesterday's low and continuing that would be indicative of retest failure. If we stay inside this range from yesterday, then it's just an inside day with no confirmation either way. Premise is that we are using 88 resistance. We had said 82s to 85s, the aggressive resistance. If 88 gets beat, then anything goes.
Squeeze pivot. Right there. A little double. Seventy eights. And those have to be undermined and taken out before the shorts have any <laughs> good fortune. Eighty five is a big player in our system. Okay, and note where we are in relation to yesterday's range. Let me put this on a 10. Okay, so we've got the green level held, the yellow level, we busted that, we tested that 83. So now we're relying back here at the next level for resistance right there. We're doing a side-by-side, -side, yesterday's range and today. Those of you who've got the widget, just do a side-by-side. -side. Yesterday's date and today. So for now, that's the range that is being played out. And note where I suggested perhaps this 78, 77 might be a player. Note how that's yesterday's middle zone. And, and so that is held RTH for trying to push back up and test the resistance portion of yesterday's range. Remember how fast, boop, 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 boom. So this is now re-auctioning that territory that was done fairly quickly. I'm still thinking neutral. Probably if, if we got a new high today, that's probably where I would have to fess up I'm wrong, right and wrong. I'd be right that I'd get that 91 and a half, 90.75 target. But I was thinking more neutrally today, just chop and chop and break uh, everybody's uh, hearts with a type of day, take out the high, take out the low and go nowhere. At any rate, if you've played the long side and been blessed already with a trade that's got some chips in your pocket, make sure you take them. We're in IB, typically we're going to test resistance and we're going to get some profit taking. But until this 77, 78 area breaks, that's in control, pushing upside. And I'm still thinking small because of that overnight range. Hit and run trading if you're playing. 